Shilongo, who was raised by his grandmother since birth, exhibits unparalleled confidence. The great five pupil says his grandmother has taught him to never limit himself, but to grow into an independent individual. What also motivated him to accept his situation is non-judgmental attitude of his disability by the community and his peers. <laughs> I have long accepted my disability because I know I can't do anything about it. I only have one leg, but I make sure that I assist my grandmother, especially when she's unable to carry out some home chores. I will help her and go wherever she sends me because I can't just be sitting around at home doing nothing. Shilongo Esta in his own right rose to fame last year when a video of him playing soccer on the dusty streets of Katutura went viral. He couldn't also be more thankful to the government for the social grants which help him meet his basic needs. Shilongo's wish is to see all children with disabilities to be fully integrated into society. Parents who continue to hide their children with disabilities should give them a chance to live a normal life and register them to social grants like myself. I rarely used to walk around, but I relied on someone to carry me on their back. But now I have an artificial limb as well as walking sticks. I try to help them to accept their situation and attend school so that they can have a better future. If you refuse them those rights, they will never be independent and they will have no future. Shilongo's future ambition is to be an advocate for children's rights, especially those with disabilities in remote rural areas. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Inyanga Village.